It is the 23rd of the 8th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I know I've been gone a while. I've been filling in at work for uh, vacations and uh, people quitting. So uh, I should get back to normal here fairly soon. It's been my first real day with any free time, so forgive me if I haven't been here for a while. A lot going on. I'm not going to backtrack. I'm just going to kind of cover what's going on right now, today. So let's go ahead and get started. Sop.net. Uh, we've got a false story for chemtrail propaganda kind of thing going on right now. Uh, their headline is, Cities, Counties, Nationwide Begin Mass Aerial Spraying of Toxic Anti-West Nile Virus Pesticides. Now this is not happening nationwide. Dallas County, Texas, and several nearby towns and cities in the Dallas area are currently being forcibly sprayed with toxic insecticides as part of a government effort to supposedly eradicate mosquitoes that may be carriers of the West Nile virus. Uh, the mass springs, which are ramping up all across the country, involve blanketing entire areas with chemicals spray up via airplanes, a highly controversial protocol that threatens not only all other insects and animals exposed, but also humans. Now this DUET, D-U-E-T is the name of the chemical they're spraying, uh, is known to affect uh, bees, beehive collapse, um, small animals. Uh, this is not just going to kill the mosquitoes. And uh, as of right now, they're only spraying the greater Dallas area. That's Dallas, Texas, so be advised. California governor declares wildfire emergency. Uh, wildfires that destroyed homes, forced evacuations, and caused road closures prompted California Governor Jerry Brown to issue an emergency proclaimed today for three northern California counties at their request. Uh, yeah, things are definitely getting out of hand in northern California. Tropical Storm Isaac head towards Guantanamo Bay. Um, some of the 9-11 hearings of the Guantanamo prisoners have been delayed due to this storm. Of course, uh, Guantanamo's... Um, not um, new to hurricanes and or tropical storms, so they're more than ready for this storm. Uh, as barges sit idle along the Mississippi River, the economic costs grow. Uh, close to 100 tows sit motionless in um, shriveled Mississippi River along a 11-mile stretch outside Greenville, Mississippi. For every day a single tow boat sits idle, it costs about $10,000. So when you've got at least 97 of them stranded, those costs start piling up quickly. And um, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers have been trying to keep the, the Mississippi River open all summer by dredging and whatnot with temporary closes, this kind of thing. Uh, but this bottleneck is causing serious problems along our trade route that is the Mississippi River. Uh, and then they got, of course, the, the humpback whale that stunned the tourists in uh, San Luis, California, uh, in the harbor. He's feeding and uh, jumped up between a bunch of people. Uh, due to low water level in the Mississippi River, salt water has been moving far upriver. And uh, we've all seen the documentaries and stuff as far as um, the bayou degradation due to salt water exposure. And uh, this drought is just causing more and more things to unfold in Louisiana if they don't have enough problems as it is. And I will get to that later. More strange sky sounds. Um, Sao Pablo, Brazil. And they've got a video on that. And it's basically the same strange noises uh, we've heard over the past couple of years, like out of Russia and stuff. Um, you better turn your audio up on this to hear it because it's way back in the backdrop kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it sounded to me like pretty much the same noises that was uh, recorded in Russia. Huge sinkhole in Hanoi causes serious traffic jams. They're saying this is due to faulty construction. And the sinkhole might be expanding. It's pretty big. Uh, multiple typhoons threaten Taiwan. Uh, tropical Storm Tembin has been upgraded to a typhoon and is likely to turn northwest towards Taiwan today, the Central Weather Bureau said yesterday. Uh, the, if the typhoon turns as forecast, I may make landfall on Taiwan's east coast Thursday, according to the Weather Bureau. Over to the extinction protocols. 
Oxen, Auckland, New Zealand residents may have little warning before volcanic eruption. Aucklanders may get only a day or two warning if a volcano eruption and will know just hours before uh, where it will be exploded, a scientific paper says. The 1.4 million people living on the Auckland volcanic field make too much noise for existing instruments to hear what is happening below the surface. And they're saying uh, with all the vibrations going on with the trucks and the construction and just everyday people's stuff, uh, that they're not allowed, that they're not able to sense the, the, the little earthquakes in these volcanoes. Um, so it will take a major upbeat for them to actually size and they can only come up with a, maybe a day or two warning or maybe hours to evacuate 1.4 million people. Uh, definitely a problem indeed. Oregon Coast residents stash tsunami survival kits on high ground. Uh, this is basically he's telling a story where this one town is providing a place for uh, people to store like uh, 55 gallon drums with emergency supplies in case they have to evacuate the coast quickly kind of thing. And uh, it's just another way a town is monopolizing on the survivalist mentality going on right now. And uh, you better be able to take care of yourself a little bit. Um, because help's not going to be there for you. And uh, the West Nile cases, of course, and yeah, all the war and economy stuff. Heavy rains and flooding kill four in southern Russia. Russian authorities said Wednesday that a flash flood had killed four people in southern uh, Krasnodar region where 170 people drowned in rising waters last month. So the problems continue in this area. Over to the watchers. Um, this goes in line with chemtrailing. Uh, now they've got a new documentary out called uh, Why, they, Why Are They Spraying uh, Chemtrails? I will attach a link below, of course. Uh, this, is, this story ties into that. Scientists propose cloud engineering as response to global warming as if they're not doing it already. Controversial idea about shooting salt water high into the sky over the oceans to create clouds that reflect sunlight. Is now reconsidered again in order to battle global warming. Rob Wood, a physicist at the University of Washington, proposes an experiment to test the concept on a small scale. Hmm, so now they want to spray salt water on top of the aluminum, the borium, and God knows what else they're spraying up there. Uh, to reflect the sunlight, and I think it's having the opposite effect because you got to remember uh, what gets bounced off from the top gets stuck underneath at night, so the earth's not able to cool itself as normal, hence the weird weather and whatnot. And again, I'll refer you to this documentary. I know it's an hour and a half long, but it's well worth your time. Ah, uh, Tropical Storm Isaac. Uh, they've got another near-Earth asteroid, 2012 DA-14, to make an extremely close approach in February 2013. Uh, now they're saying this uh, meteor is supposed to come within 17,000 miles of Earth. So uh, definitely be visible from the sky. Um, again, this is, gonna, is this going to be another LNN story or whatnot, but uh, they've announced another uh, very close call with the meteor in the near future. And composition of mysterious white powder that covered Omsk district in Russia has been analyzed. Uh, they're saying it's an aluminum powder used in manufacturing, not harmful to the environment. <sighs> Interesting read indeed. And again, this, this goes with the chemical air spraying because they're not really sure where it came from. Uh, Hurricane Gordon passes Azores without major damage. And Tropical Storm Bolavin, B-O-L-A-V-N, formed in the western North Pacific. And, uh, of course, they've got more and more stories. I'm just unable to cover everything in a little bit of time. Over to the E&E &E News, let's just cover the radiation stuff. Officials, sinkhole measurements unavailable. Police want study of simultaneous venting of the aquifer as it, as the exploratory rig is being drilled. Uh, spontaneous venting of the aquifer. Isn't that the water table? Interesting things indeed taking place in Louisiana. 
Fukushima Daiichi worker dies from heart attack. TEPCO question over fertility rate at the plant. Not caused by radiation, quote, because he died of a heart attack. No, isn't that one of the symptoms of um, um, the radiation is, is heart, there's a muscle degradation and heart attacks were very common after Chernobyl. They blame everybody but the nuclear industry. Uh, Minachi, almost 20,000 becquerels of cesium detected inside Fukushima Man, quote, this is not a level that would affect health, unquote. Equals less than one millisievert per year, says his doctor. The lies, the lies, the lies. Japan nuclear professor, Fukushima smokestacks releasing radiation on a daily basis. Uh, this is an understatement because you've got to remember we have three major reactors uh, that make Chernobyl look like small cheese in comparison, melted through uh, into the ground, past containment. Uh, the radiation release is much more than just out of the stacks. and uh, The insanity continues. Scientists fear increased genetic defects in humans from Fukushima disaster, disaster after results of butterfly study. Now, they're not talking right away. They're talking 30, 60, and 90 years down the road. Uh, we will be dealing with major mutations uh, from the Fukushima Daiichi uh, situation. Insane. State shows concern over drilling into salt dome under sinkhole. Hazmat unit has increased staffing to provide 24-hour operational support. Uh, DEQ will be monitoring air quality around the clock. And they have more on this. And, of course, they pulled everybody back temporarily. Uh, but don't worry, folks. Everything is completely under control. TEPCO, Fukushima plant worker, collapses for unknown reasons, suffers cardiac arrest, and, of course, internal and external radiation dose over 25 millisieverts. Alarming number of children with cysts or lumps on thyroid after Fukushima. Access to Japan's birth certificate. Statistics requested, not granted. They're covering this up as deep as they can. They can't stop the truth from seeping out. <sighs> Official way beyond the levels recorded before. It is worrying. Suggests more release from Fukushima plant may be causing extreme contamination. Now this is talking about the fish catches, and it just seems like the radiation is increasing, not decreasing. Uh, ergo, we have three major nuclear reactors melted through, seeping out and away in the Pacific Ocean, contaminating, accumulating every single moment of every single day for the next few million years, in the least. We're not done with this yet, folks. Ah, and some good news. Power use falls. Reactors unneeded. Despite hot summer, group leader... Proof Japan can supply enough electricity even without any nuclear power. Nuclear energy is about producing plutonium for nuclear weapons. Now you got to remember the CIA released uh, documents a few months ago saying Japan has had a nuclear weapons program secret since the 60s and we have provided technical support for those means as a government and a community. The insanity continues. Gunderson, I think plutonium being reported around Fukushima is raw. Unoxidized pieces of nuclear rods that were blown out from Unit 3's spent fuel pool. And nobody talks about Unit 3's spent fuel pool and what happened shortly after the major explosion at the number 3 in Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power. More, more radioactive isotopes detected in the latest sinkhole. This is out of Louisiana. Over 80 uh, picuries per liter of radium. God knows what they have stored down in this thing. And it is very close to other um, salt domes. <sighs> and now they are, you know, they're testing the bridges for, for their level and see if they're sinking or rising and kind of thing. And talking about shutting down roads in emergency at the last minute. I mean, Louisiana... Is definitely something to pay attention to right now, especially if you're within a couple hundred mile radius. 
More reports of gas bubbles near sinkhole. Uh, new flyover footage. Now this was back on, uh, yeah, and you can see them. They 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 bugged out, and the hole's bigger, and the water's closer to that that one boat ramp that they they built that go out into the sinkhole kind of thing. Uh, so the ground is continuing to sink, and that hole is continuing to grow down there. And they've got a couple of short videos to show that. Back to Japan, high radiation jungle developing in Fukushima mountains and forests. A natural disaster will certainly occur if situation continues. Uh, nobody's cleaning up the woodlands of the Fukushima prefecture and all that radiation that got sprawled up against those mountains in the early days. Uh, nuclear chief Belgium reactor has thousands of cracks. Same used as United States plants, and they were saying 10 of our nuclear plants are using the same components that these Belgium are saying, uh, this is very dangerous, we need to shut this reactor down. Ours are still running. Suggest permanent closure, all but certain. <sighs> and uh, a third of the workers laid off at troubled California nuclear plants. Many wonder if it will ever fully reopen. Official reality is reactor will not be operating for some time. All while states survive scorching summer without San Onofre nuclear power plant. And you got to remember that's where they tried to turbocharge the tubes and produce more electricity out of design for this reactor. And uh, it rattled apart on them. So now they're going to have to rebuild the whole damn thing. And uh, another good news, Japanese government is now most likely to decide to eliminate all nuclear power their officials are saying. And it goes on and on and on and on and on, as usual. Um, I will be back uh, more steady uh, at least three, four times a week. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.